Well, hello and welcome to Thoughts McCurr again. My name, as you know, by now is Carl, and I will be your host for the duration of the video. This video follows the day after uh, the one in which I discussed issues from 30 years ago. You will note I'm in a much happier place, mainly because I've had a haircut. And I am now just cruising around on my way back home. I need to go nurse Nikki, who is not particularly well. I had to call in sick today. She's got an inner ear imbalance problem, which is going to require some additional help. Antibiotics are not going to kick it. So uh, we're going to be taking her to a clinic where they're going to basically stand her on her head and shake her so that all the little things in her head fall into the right spots. And um, that's how I read it. Vestibular rehabilitation I believe they call it so we're basically we're going to refurnish our vestibule and uh, that should keep us busy for a while and I just need to get across here we go so I just want to get back on and say hi and um, I don't really have anything to talk about today other than I'm gonna go home as I just mentioned and work on some additional things I'm feeling kind of after the last couple of weeks of very busy preparing reports and proposals and we had a lot of um, print ads that were due back to back as a deadline and I had to get all those ready and it was just kind of hectic. I really needed to recharge the batteries, which, a lot, which I did last night, because we did go for a beer and then went home. And, uh, I'm now ready to jump back on. I've got to sort out my blog, my own personal blog. I've got to update my website and add some of the uh, photography I've been doing. Uh, I haven't done that for some time and it's, it's overdue. I also got to talk to my partner in the newspaper, a uh, newspaper uh, called uh, News in Port Colburn and Waynefleet. We topped 10,000 views. Uh, last week on Facebook, which is quite an achievement for a small community newspaper. And I am actually talking to the guy that is currently hosting it, because we're going to be moving onto new servers. Um, it's impractical to leave the site where it is. I have the bandwidth and the capability to, to just move the whole site whole meal. Wholesale, piece, mail, hole, whatever, uh, to a newer, faster, easier control server. So that's what I'm going to be doing. It's just a case of where and when. And the thing is, I need to make sure that everybody's on the same page because it just doesn't make sense to try and move the site in the database while people are still updating it. So I need to put a halt on that, set a time for and move things across, etc. Net result should be that the newspaper is exactly the same as it is. If it goes all to plan, as I expect it will, it'll be completely seamless and nobody will notice the slightest interruption, not even a hiccup. And that would be. I hate these marketing calls, that's the second time in two days it's interrupted something that was important, i.e. you guys and me doing this. God. As I was about to say, if everything goes to plan, nobody will know that the migration has even occurred, it will be completely seamless and there won't even be a hiccup. That's a perfect example. It's not my first site migration, it won't be my last, I just need to make sure it's all coordinated. And what's going to end up happening is that we'll have a faster server with more resources and it should hopefully mean that the site is better, it'll load quicker, all that good stuff, the back end that you don't even think about. I also have access to a lot more statistics and a lot more 
sexy analytical stuff which really bores the pants of most people including me to be honest but it's a necessary part of a deal so that's it for somebody that had nothing to say and nothing to talk about I've gone from I've had a haircut to I'm migrating a 10,000 person newspaper website in the next two weeks nothing we can't handle should just take a couple of hours and it'll be done so we'll see how that works in the meantime my haircut and I say thank you for watching it's been a pleasure as always and uh, we'll catch you in the next video all the best have a good weekend or evening or morning I don't know when you're gonna watch this do I? I'm just gonna say have a good bye for now <laughs>